So here's a quick intro to the track that uh, we put in after doing the Hoofing Marvellous course last year. Um, you can see this bit suffered from mud. I made a bit of a mistake there with putting it down with wood chip. Uh, so this corner, I mean it's still okay but yeah. Um, we've got a great hedgerow going down here by a couple of hundred metres. Um, which is all hawthorn and plum and native species that have been here for probably 200 years, I don't know. Um, so you'll see the surface changing now and the uh, horse box you see in front of us failed its MOT so we turned that into a field shelter instead. Uh, so this surface, um, well worn, horses are on it all the time and um, basically it's sandstone uh, with um, um, beach sand or as dug sand on over the top of it uh, really well suited for the hooves and the horses uh, we've had no mud problem whatsoever everything has stayed dry all over winter as you see down here um, large hay mangers everywhere so they've got hay whenever they want it 24 7 um, after doing the course we uh, felt that this is how they should be kept this is simulating what they'd have in the wild if they were free to choose um, and we've noticed certainly their health has been great um, we've had no requirement for vets no requirement for bag feeds nothing at all um, so really the cost of putting the track in has probably evened itself out even over the year that we've had it or year and a half, I can't remember how long now. You see down here I've mixed more sand on top of the uh, sandstone. There's a bit of grass coming through um, but nothing too much to worry about. This was originally going to be the paddock. Um, but obviously deciding on the track paddock not required thank goodness or that I've had all that grass down them we're very lucky that we've got a small piece of woodland there I've had to fence off because I've got to protect it from the dogs escaping um, but you see I chopped the willow leave it connected so it stays alive the horses love it they just eat it and even over the winter when there's been no leaves you can see they've been eating the bark and just self-selecting whatever they want. Uh, this all looks pretty rough, but it's just sandstone, small chippings and that sort of thing. Whoops. <laughs> and then we go on to pure sand. It's fenced on both sides. I haven't used any electric fencing, um, mainly because I didn't want to electrocute the dogs or anybody else uh, this is all deep sand it might look like mud but it's uh, yeah it's loose as dug sand the horses there's a patch smoothest patch there where they've laid down uh, it comes around here got some points of interest where we can put uh, herbs and buckets of free choice stuff for them and they love it. Small mange there at a different height. Um, all this stuff's learned. Gary and Lindsay uh, gave me all the tips on how to do it. And then I came away and did it. And then we're back onto sandstone. The uh, poop picking's easy. We just pick it and put it over onto the borders, um, which stops them coming over and getting at the grass that we don't want them to have. Um, so yeah, and the, it works brilliantly. They're always entertained. They're always up for a play. Um, they're very alert, always warmed up, you know, so you don't need to warm the horse up and then go out on a hack or anything. They're just good to go at any moment in time. Another manger there. We've whitened these parts out to give them a 
bit of a play area sort of thing. Uh, this part of the track, we've got sand on one side, stone, sandstone on the other. You can see they've been choosing the sandstone. Here's Scarlet, come to see what I'm doing, which is quite funny. Hello, girl. Come on then. <laughs> so yeah, they uh, they love it. They're always up for playing and. Really good. Here's our other one just finished raiding the hay barn, I think. So as you see, they're just free to come and go as they want around the track. This is the turnout bit and this another manger under shelter so it stays dry. Um, but yeah, absolutely track system. I wouldn't consider doing it any other way now. Having seen our neighbour's horses and the way that they've struggled with mud, um, feed problems, all that sort of thing. Uh, this is just so straightforward. Just fill some mangers up all the while, make sure they've got hay permanently. One single watering point. Yeah, it's uh, easy management really. And everything's taking care of itself, you know, the horses and everything. So yeah, really, really good. Thank you.